in this tutorial i'm going to show you a very different and unique slide which will be very useful in your day-to-day -day presentations and definitely it will give you some wow factor in your presentations so uh, this is how the slide works uh, before explaining that one let me just explain you uh, this one for example here i have just put four steps and uh, each step uh, there's a lamp on the top of it and when i click it comes the first option with the light and the text you can type it here and then the shadow effect when I click it will show me the second one the third and the fourth options isn't it great to show the text in this particular format or the data you can display in this particular format and likewise I just did with some the same but I've just given the color to the uh, lamps and this is the four options and this is the sixth option six option slide so you can see here and the same slide with a different color so uh, let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill then go to insert shapes and from basic shapes i'm going to select trapezoid draw a small trapezoid maybe this much size you can reduce it something like this you can see here then right mouse click go to format shape go to effects go to 3d rotation and from presets i'm going to select which is perspective relax moderately something comes like this shape outline make it no outline and go to 3d format and increase the depth you can see here i have increased the depth then you can go to lighting select this option and material i'm going to select the same and shape fill i'm going to select a white color so you got this shape ready for this then i'm going to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and give a gradient fill so gradient fill i'm going to give two stops one stop i'm going to select a, a black the other stop i'm going to select a, maybe a white and type i'm going to select a linear and make it something like this so you can see here i'm just going to bring this here and this one the white position i'm going to make it fully 100 percent and this one also i'm just going to reduce the transparency level something like this this is for the shadow effect i'm creating so right mouse again it's already selected right mouse click and go to edit points and you can see this point just move it this side this also move it this side put it like this here and put it like this here so you can see here i have created the shape and turn it like this and just send to back so you can see here the shadow effect is there but i want this to be more transparent so this one i'm going to make it all 100 percent or i can just select this also a black and make it something like this you can see here this also i'm going to make it more transparent yeah so the first uh, step uh, with the shadow is ready now the one option or the one step is ready now i'm going to select this and copy as per my requirement three four five or six so let me just select these two shapes Control d to duplicate it i'm just going to put one here Control D one more here. Again, Control D one more here. So I'm going to make it only four steps and 
select the arrows sorry not the arrows the shadows and go to format send this to back and now it's time to add some text to it so go to insert text just say zero one and i'm going to change the font to century gothic make it bold make a black color increase the size and put it here and i'm going to insert one oval shape for the shadow effect i'm going to select the oval shape and give the gradient fill shape outline make it no outline and this one i'm going to make it a black this i'm going to make it white 100 percent transparent and this a little bit here go to effects soft adjust increase the soft edges so you can see and i can just increase the transparency level for this so i got this and the shadow just place it down you can see here and bring this to up and then i'm going to select this both the shadow and the text so just a minute Control D to duplicate it and put it here. Again, Control D. And Control D. So you can see I'm going to just make it this is second, this is third, and this is fourth. Now it's time to add some lights to it. First, I'm going to add the hanging lamp. For that, go to insert shapes and select the top corner surrounded rectangle and make it. Uh, you can see here the two orange points. Just drag this inside, it becomes fully uh, curved from the top. Then, shape outline and make it no outline, and you can give some. Uh, a dark gray color to it and place it here and go to insert shapes select the line and from the center pull it to top and give the same color and if you want you can increase the width okay and then I'm going to give a lighting effect for that go to insert shapes I'm going to select this one again trapezoid you can see here the light effect comes something like this and I'm going to select a gradient fill shape outline make it no outline and the type select a linear and this one which is the linear up this I'm going to make it white color and this also I'm going to make it white color but increase the transparency and just increase it from there and then send to back so you can see here the lightning effect has been created so this also I'm going to make it all 100% and this you can just increase it the brightness and then i'm going to select this and this control g to group it control d to duplicate it bring it here make it somewhat on top reduce the size of the wire control d one will go here reduce the size and control d this will go here and reduce the size i'm then going to copy this control d control d and control d 
select this uh, lights and send this to back so you can see here our design is almost ready now it's time to add some more text to it to add the text go to insert text box and just say type your text here center align change the font if you want you can reduce the size and put it here control D put it here and control D maybe I can reduce the, the font size to 14 or rather 12 and make sure that this is properly aligned and uh, it's time to do the animations so to add the animation first close the format background go to animations enable the animation pane select the this the light first and i'm going to give a wipe effect wipe effect select from top and double click go to the properties timing make it very fast which is 0.2 seconds click ok so it comes very fast and then the text should come for that again i'm going to give a wipe from top you can give after previous if i play it comes like this or you can give with previous a uh, delay of 0.25 seconds maybe and this timing also make it 0.2 seconds so it should come very fast here let me just give instead of 0.25 i'll give 1.15 so if i play it comes something like this fast and then this should come this also again i'm going to give wipe effect from top after previous the shadow effect i'm going to give a fade effect with previous and then this shadow effect again with wipe from top and this also with previous if i play now so you can see here it comes very fast or you can give this shadow also along with the light here for example or after the text like this also you can do it so if i play again it comes something like this now once you do this one you can it's easy again i'm just going to select this click on animation painter then i'm going to select the text animation painter to the text then i'm going to select this animation painter for this then the option and the last is the shadow so if you see here so you can do for the rest of the other options now you can see here i've added all the animation let me just play it in the slideshow when i click it will show me the first option then the second option the third option and the fourth option and if you want you can just change the color of the lamps for example right mouse click just say duplicate slide and i'm going to give a different color to it just close the animation go to format or right mouse click go to format shape and give your own colors for example let me just give this orange i'm going to give this some purple I'm going to give some teal color and let's give some a blue color so you can see here uh, with the different color options.
and to give something more you can just give some a uh, shadow effect here so that it looks more real that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye